Can you sit up really straight? Perfect. And lean towards me just a little bit. Good. I want a nice long neck. And I'm getting down really low, chin down a tiny bit. Oh, that actually looks good. Oops. Perfect. And now look your eyes up and off, like to the light. Perfect. Good. Let's take a look there. I'll shoot one more over here. And keep your head right there and look your eyes up again. And now just your eyes to me. Just look right there. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to turn off my strobes and take a couple with the ambient light. And then I'll pass off to Brooke. I'm going to do one like that. Let's take one. Make sure I didn't untether. We're good. Same thing. And look your eyes that way. Sure. Perfect. Good. And I'm just making sure I can see her, both of her eyes and they're not obscured. Oh, wait. Let's change my exposure here. That would be helpful. Try that again. And I'm going to shoot at 2.8. ISO 1000. Good. It's not super bright in here. Take a look. Good. And one more. And now eyes right at me. Okay. Brooke, Yay. your turn. Okay. So what lens do you want? Uh, my 35. Okay. Um, so when I am looking at this scenario, which by the way, I was pretty caught off guard by this <laughs> um, yesterday. So I walked in, I saw this headpiece and I was like, oh, Oh, that's interesting. You know, in like my high pitched, trying to be nice voice. And I like this. It's not that I don't like it. It's just not something that I would shoot. So I'm really challenged here because I've got this fashion piece that is very fashion to me that, you know, I don't like the glitz and glamour and stuff like that in my pictures. So I am going to basically take this and have that juxtapose everything else in the shot. So I'm going to have you just step off and you take me to move change the that dress yeah, <laughs> to the other dress that I have there for you. So I just have a really normal, simple white cotton dress that I'm going to put her in. And if somebody wouldn't mind grabbing my dirt and water that I have over there, your that'd dirt? be great. Uh, because we're going to smear her with mud. And my concept yeah. with this is, yes, we're going to see the headpiece. Yes, she will have the jewels and everything, but my thing is that she's sort of like, this is like, I, I feel like I'm so classically weird sometimes. Okay, so she, weird? yeah, yeah. So she's going to be sort of like a deer princess who is forlorn and lost and muddied in the woods. And so um, if you guys watched the last segment, I dropped the model into the woods. And I would use that same exact method here of putting her into the wooded setting. I would uh, change this background to be a piece of woods, forest, whatever. And, uh, and so I would have her more in place. And so it wasn't just a black backdrop. So first things first, I'm going to put your camera there and not get mud on it. It's okay, it has a protective cover. Okay, help me do this. Are we just making mud? Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we're making mud. A free prop, what do you know? <laughs> okay. And what I want to do is I'm trying to create texture with this. So I want to uh, have the model be as integrated into the scene as possible, and I want to take as much emphasis off of the headpiece as possible. So yes, I'm going to shoot for the headpiece, but I'm actually going to cover up some of what I wouldn't naturally shoot. So I'm going to have her have her hands up over her head, so she's kind of covering the top part, which is the most fashiony part for me, because it's clearly a hat that's mm -hmm. sitting on her head. So whenever you're ready, you can come out from behind the magical cloth. <laughs> and I'm just going to start smearing her. I'm going <laughs> to... Is that okay? Are you, okay. Are, are you uh, <laughs> modeling for someone else after this? Well, we're gonna right. we're gonna work with it. Good. Perfect. And you can take your boots off as well. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, you're going barefoot. We're shooting the whole body. So I'm going to have her curled up on the ground, sort of in a very upset position, covering her head, mud all over her. She has just been so rejected from her royal, <laughs> royal life as a <laughs> queen. Queen of the and okay. So do you want me to remove this sand? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. I'm going, are you okay? Yeah. It's cold. Okay, she's Let's cold. do your arm first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is awesome. We're going to cover up her purple nails. Very organic. It is. 
See, nature. I know my words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I was a little bit torn about getting this all muddy, but I think that it will be just fine. So I'm just gonna splatter you. Oh yeah. And <laughs> it works really well if you like, just, like do that. Yep, it like looks it. really cool. So I'm a mud expert, people. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Yep, on your feet. All right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna need a shower. Pretty bad. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna do your face. Okay. Okay. You want me to hold this up? Okay, I'm doing. I'm very gentle until I'm not. So I'm <laughs> exactly. Just warning that that's coming. <laughs> oh, there's a stick on you. All right. There we go. Okay, so now if you Back close your eyes, I'm just gonna spritz you. Okay. Steve. Okay. I'll ask her. Okay. There we go. Okay, all done. <laughs> done spritzing. So I am going to set that there. What I want to do is get you into your pose. So if you want to go ahead and just take a step back. You let me know if you need more. And kneel blood. down. Great. Yeah, you look good, I gotta say. I'm quite pleased. So I have the light coming from over here, so I'm gonna have her head just sort of airing to this side. And I do wanna make sure that some of her is in shadow because I love that highlight and shadow play. Um, not to mention, now we have to think about the forest setting that I'm gonna put her in later. The light is coming from overhead slash slightly behind in that setting, and the light in this case is coming right from the side. So the good thing to do here would be to just move this backdrop, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna shoot it like this, and then later on when I edit this for you guys, um, which I will release later, um, you will be able to see how I've changed the lighting dynamics in the actual picture. So by doing things like selecting with the lasso tool, feathering that selection, and then changing the light, I'll be able to hopefully make it look like the light is coming from a slightly different spot. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Um, do you know how to do back button focus? If you no. hold this button right here, <laughs> she's teaching focus. me how to use a camera. <laughs> Sorry, no. If you just hold this button, that's what focuses. This is what takes the picture. Okay. This one. This is the third button. Got it. We, we're sharing a camera this time. <laughs> I've never used this camera. It's very um, intimidating. Okay. So I'm just taking a look. Now, if you guys remember the forest shot that I had before, I'm extremely important to match perspective. So if I stand up here, it will not match. So I need to just kind of crouch down awkwardly, sort of like that. <laughs> as I shoot. I would say there's a spool that's about that height. Where's the spool? Did it work? I don't know. All right. I took a picture. Will someone check the focus over in Tetherland? OK, so that is my test shot. And I'm just going to zoom in on that and make sure that everything is OK. Can you zoom in yes, on that for course. me? Let's zoom. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, OK. <laughs> Let me see. OK, that's good. Yeah? I think it looks good. OK, I can't tell. All right, so I'm going to get you in your pose. And what I would like from you is you can sort of sit your butt down on the, the actual floor and face this way. So swing your legs out to the other side. Great. Good, and then you can curl them so they're both, both your knees are facing me. Good, and set them on the floor. Good. Okay, so now what I want you to do is hunch yourself over as far as you can towards me. So bring your head forward and just let your whole body collapse onto your knees. Good, just like that. Now, I am making sure that Oh dear, I'm in the mud. I'm making sure that there is light on her back because I want to see the curve of her back in this image. And I'm going to make sure that she has her head turned so that I am seeing uh, light on her face. So go ahead and drop your head down a little bit more. Good. And then turn your head towards the light. Is that really heavy? Okay, we will make sure it doesn't. Okay, turn your head towards the light even more. Good. And now hands and go ahead and cover your face. Okay, so she is a model model. I am not used to model models. So I'm gonna show you how I'm going to direct her out of this. But you're doing the right thing for Lindsay.